I, I want to begin on, on what you said earlier this week. You said that we in Jordan cannot just rely solely on the U.S. to do everything for us. Is the U.S. today a less powerful, less reliable ally for Jordan? No, the U.S. continues to be a very solid partner of Jordan, a true friend of Jordan. The cooperation that we've had with the U.S. have uh, tremendously helped us uh, uh, mitigate many of the challenges uh, that we've been at the receiving end of as a result of regional crises. So the partnership is solid, it's strong. The U.S. support to Jordan is key, uh, not only in enabling us meet those challenges, but also in helping us implement the wide-ranging economic reforms that we are undertaking right now. What I, what I meant by that statement is that we in the region uh, need to do a lot of the heavy lifting. We cannot just rely mm -hmm. on the U.S. to solve our problems. We got to do our bit in that and then work with the U.S. as a, as a trusted partner uh, in, in moving forward. Are you concerned, particularly as the U.S. focuses away from the Middle East and more towards mm -hmm. its relationship with China, are you concerned about who fills the void? Russia has certainly been more active in the Middle East than in years past. Look, the, the U.S. has always played a, a leading role in the region, and we do need that role. And uh, we do uh, work with the U.S. on ensuring that it does continue uh, to help us uh, uh, grapple with all those challenges and, and find solutions to them. And uh, the discussions I have had the pleasure of having with the Secretary of State uh, yesterday did indicate that we are going to continue to work together, again, uh, from a point of departure where uh, we do our bit in the region as well, uh, whether mm -hmm. in terms of the peace process, Syria, refugees, terrorism. The U.S. is a, is a, is a key partner for us, and uh, we'll continue to work together. Uh, Syria now. Uh, Remarkable survival story, one can say, regarding Bashar al-Assad and his leadership of Syria. Uh, Jordan has reopened its border with Syria. There are flights going again uh, between Haman and Damascus. King Abdullah has spoken with the Syrian leader. Is Jordan preparing to normalize relations with Syria? What we're doing in Jordan is trying to uh, make sure that there is a, a serious political process that will result in ending that crisis. Uh, in Jordan, as you know very well, Jim, we've been at the receiving end of that crisis. 1.3 million uh, Syrian uh, refugees in Jordan, uh, the threat of terrorism from the border, now the threats of drugs coming across the border. Uh, what we're saying is that uh, uh, 11 years into the crisis, we've got to do what it takes to solve it. We cannot continue to double down on, on, on approaches that did not deliver the outcome. And therefore, what we're trying to do is, in coordination with the U.S. and other partners, uh, find a path towards a, a, a political uh, solution. There are two dimensions to the relation with Syria. Mm -hmm. One, the bilateral, and, and again, uh, as, a, as, a, as a neighboring country with 367 kilometers of border, the impact mm -hmm. of, of that crisis on us has been enormous, uh, not least of which the, the burden of uh, uh, providing yeah. a dignified uh, life for refugees, which, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, who we see less and less global attention towards them. The yeah. other side of it is uh, we need to work towards a political solution. We all agree there is no military answer, and uh, the crisis has done so much suffering and destruction, and we cannot continue yeah. with status quo politics. And, and that's what Jordan is trying to do, open yeah. horizon for a political solution.